We live in Africa, so it's a little crazy to want to celebrate the festive season with meals intended for a Northern Hemisphere winter. So, how do you cater for a family gathering without going the route of the old turkey cliché? Vani knows exactly how to put the East in feast, and she's about to show us how to do it. Christmas, a time for fun, family, festivities and overindulgence. Today I will be creating a few dishes off our Marigold Christmas menu. Our first dish is curry patta machli. So first in is my yogurt, some chopped ginger, fresh cream, just a smidge, a little bit of vinegar, a good dollop of the cashew nut paste, fresh chopped chilies, garam masala, a pinch of ground green cardamom, mace, white pepper, some ginger garlic puree, some curry patta. You want to give that a good crush? Curry patta is the Hindi name for curry leaves and our firm fish. And you want to mix this in really well to get all those flavours going. And remember to add in some salt. So this is ready for me to skewer onto the tandoor stick. And all you do is just gently skewer onto the thickest part of your fish. And then we're just gonna add some curry patta just onto the top of the fish. So when it's cooking in the tandoor oven, you want that beautiful, fragrant aromas. I'm just going to finish this off with some fresh mint and I've made a chilli paste. And there we have curry patta machli. Our next dish is a decadent, delicious lamb biryani. We're going to first start off with the marination. The first up is our lamb pieces. Hung yogurt. You want to get a good dollop of that in. Our whole spices, bay leaves, green cardamom, black peppercorns, and some cinnamon sticks, which I just want to break, just to release the flavors and give that a good mix, because you want the yogurt to get into the meat and give it a good coating. The yogurt will also aid in tenderizing the meat. And this is ready to be braised. I'm gonna switch my pan on. In goes the ghee. Some ginger garlic paste. In goes the meat. And you just want to fry that off for a second, make sure your pan's nice and hot. Some cumin, coriander, turmeric, chili powder, and some deggie mix. And give that a good stir. A little bit of salt, and a little bit of cardamom powder, some mace. And I'm gonna add some water. The aromas of the lamb biryani is coming through. The meat has reduced perfectly. So let's layer our decadent lamb biryani. So I'm gonna add in the meat first. And you want some of that sauce as well. That also adds to the moisture of our dish. Some rice, some fresh chilies, fried onions, some chopped coriander and mint. And let's repeat this process. Some rice, and that's it. We're gonna add all of that in. Our fresh chili, the fried onions. The aroma is so delicious. Some coriander and mint. Let's take this to the table. The best part of a Christmas meal is desserts. And today I'm going to be making a tandoori baked pineapple. And for the pineapple we need some fennel powder, cinnamon powder, cardamom powder, some caster sugar. Rub the marinade into your pineapple because you want that festive flavoring to come through. And using a Ziploc bag, I'm going to poach 
the pineapples for about 20 minutes. Seal that in. By poaching the pineapples, it releases that festive flavors. The pineapples are ready, so let's skewer them. Do be careful when you're opening them because they are very hot. And you want to skewer the pineapple just on the center. And I'm gonna put a potato in, as this will stop the pineapple from falling in the tandoor oven. The charred flavors of the sugar really brings out the smokiness in this pineapple. And I'm gonna slice this into five slices. And the next five slices. Just gently plate it on the platter. And to finish off this dish, I've made some saffron crumble and coconut and fennel coffee. Let's take this to the table. To complete the meal, I've made a marigold salad, paneer labada, chicken tikka, and lacha parata. Wishing you a warm and blessed festive season.